Hey, fire signs. It's a goal. So let's see what messages we have. For Sagittarius, and Virginia. Sunrise and Venus messages. For Sagittarius, Aries, and Virginia. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is for April the 11th, 2019. What messages do we have? For Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. April the 11th, 2019. Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I saw my phone, bitch. They let me. I seen somebody uh, ask me once before were the spirits in my house were they nice? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my spirits are always with me, baby. My ancestors are always with me. I always got some 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 people around me that are like that. Woo! So someone was at a stalemate here about a relationship. Could have been with a Taurus. Taurus. Wow. So I got three major arcanas <laughs> in the first shit. Someone's worried here about happiness. Talk. We got Gemini, Taurus, Pisces here. There's been a stalemate. There has been a stalemate. Emperor here, underlying energy, Aries here. I don't think there's a stalemate anymore. Someone may have been boxed in emotionally here. Um, maybe, wow. So someone's not happy with a hidden relationship. So someone's making a decision to get out of stagnation. Four of Cups, you're going to cause someone to cry these tears. Let them cry them. Let them fill up their motherfucking cup with them tears and drink that shit. Cry baby type shit. You feel what I'm trying to tell you? Fuck them folks. I've been saying that all morning because even though there are some there are some heartbreaks that is going that are going on. Because I keep getting this emperor here and I keep getting um the need to take action, this is a necessary heartbreak in order for you to be happy, in order for you to find the fulfillment. So some of you guys yesterday, y'all really got, you know some good news you know from yesterday's reading this is maybe what needs to happen the aftermath of finding that salvation so with the lover's card here why is this lover's card here someone's not happy and feeling out of lack about a hidden relationship i'm trying to tell you lover's card here i'm telling you ace of wands there's a new opportunity for love emperor here emperor emperor empress here so the empress here understands her worth she may have been in a hidden relationship, may be burdened by some hidden relationship. You could be laying some burdens down and moving forward with a Pisces. Because I got Pisces all over this read here. Um, twice. Twice. But I really think this is the energy because you've been at a stalemate in the dark. So someone here in the Pisces is in the surrounding energy. Someone here is understanding their worth and making a decision based off what they want to bring forth into fruition. Fruition, however the fuck you say. Y'all know what the fuck I'm saying. Um, somebody correct me on that. I listen. You know the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> so with the hierophant here, this is about a relationship. What the fail? Four of Swords. Someone's retreating from that relationship. Could be retreating from a Taurus. Seven of Swords. Escaping. So there could have been some deception. This could have been someone retreating from a relationship. Um that was deceptive queen of pentacles here queen of swords queen okay so taurus is escaping from a relationship just saw three 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 okay then taurus is, is escaping from a hidden relationship maybe with you um it could be gaining their gaining their their power back i'm gonna tell you that because they went within themselves they're in alignment with what it is that they want someone could be escaping some deception in general it doesn't have to be a taurus um it's just a relationship that may be they were not seeing truth about, not seeing clear um, about Queen of Cups. I mean, Queen of Pentacles here, Queen of Swords. You need to check out that Earth sign read. Someone is very discerning about a relationship and deciding to nurture themselves. There is an Earth sign here. So someone could be nurturing themselves and escaping uh, an Earth sign. So with the Moon card here and the surrounding energy, could be some things that are hidden. Could be a third party. I just see Three of Cups here. And y'all, Three of Cups don't always represent a third party, but here it does because I got the Five of Wands here. And this was in reverse. So because someone was in this hidden relationship dealing with other people, someone's letting go of the strife here. Eight of Wands moving forward here. Someone has a desire to get out of this. No, don't, someone don't want to be a third party. Never. Not going to be a third party. Not going to be hidden. 
You're not gonna hide me, baby. You ain't gonna hide me, okay? So someone's in conflict about being a third party, about being hidden. Someone has a desire to move forward here. That is going to cause some some disappointment, some severance. Someone's here, two of swords, at a stalemate, not even seeing the pain that they're causing, but they gonna see it because somebody's moving. Check out that earth sign read, I'm trying to tell you. Five of Pentacles here. Mm-hmm. Four of Wands here, Knight of Wands. Someone's completed a cycle moving forward. Y'all see completion under that? Always have to make sure people see that because the Four of Wands does represent a successful completion of a project. In life, the project is your karma. So someone has completed their karma. They're done with this, this relationship that's at a leg. They're done not having what it is that they desire. Knight of Wands here, Nine of Swords here. Someone has a desire to move forward. Ten of Cups here to gain emotional fulfillment, to gain satiety within their emotions. Someone is getting out of this lap. They feel the Adelaide, they feel heartbroken. Someone's getting out of this. Um, you may feel this way because, like I said, someone's getting out of this. Four of Cups here. Why is this Four of Cups here? Why is this Four of Cups here? It's a lot of uh, energy right here. Mm. So someone's moving forward here. And someone's in an in, okay, four of cups. You're imbalanced. I mean, you're not happy because there's not even give and take within the situation. So, two of wands here, queen of cups could be a water sign at a crossroads here, could be any woman at a crossroads. We've got three queens here with the empress. The only queen that is missing is the queen of wands. So, someone does need to move in a new direction. It's time to move in a new direction, but because someone is not happy, is within themselves, and the queen of wands could have already moved. Because she's the only one missing. The Empress is in a higher vibration, meaning all the queens are already there. The Queen of Wands has already left the building. She's already moved in a new direction. That's why someone's unhappy. Will of Fortune here, High Priestess. They may not have even told you. <laughs> Will of Fortune, High Priestess. Someone may not even may not have told you. They're just going to let you feel them gone. They're not going to say shit. They just start to put things in motion and they're leaving. That's it. Not, not saying a word. Because someone is like, I ain't going to be hidden. If I'm hidden, then you ain't going to miss me anyway. So someone's moving. <laughs> Shit. Woo. Let's see what messages we have for my fire signs. What messages do we have? Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Coming right into these. What messages do we have? Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Message guidance. For Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Well, we most definitely had some cards that fell out. The sun, see what I'm trying to tell you? Someone knows that they got to change the patterns. Fortune is the will. Nine of swords. So someone's mastered their fortune. Nine. This is a nine. Someone's mastered their fortune. And they're getting out of this third party. You see that three up there? Two plus one equals three. They're getting out of this third party. They see it as a pattern. So they want sun. They want happiness. Someone is assured because they accepted that something has to end. <laughs> Somebody ain't going to be hidden. Point blank, period. They like, look, you keeping me hidden, so you don't really want me. So I move on to somebody that do. That's all I got, y'all. Peace.